This is DLX Technologies, here to explain to you how the feather touch manifold in your Lux paintball marker works. To start off, to explain that, we're going to show you how the bolt actually cycles back and forth. On your bolt, you have an O-ring, a 1670 sail O-ring, which air is applied to either the front side of that uh, O-ring to hold the bolt back, or to the back side of the O-ring to push the bolt forward. Now, when you first air your marker up, air is going to be applied to the front side of that sail O-ring through this set of holes here to actually hold the bolt back. When you pull your trigger and fire the gun, the air is going to vent through that set of holes, be applied to the back set of holes to actually apply air to the back side of the sail O-ring, causing the bolt to slide forward. Once your dwell time expires, the air is going to vent through the back set of holes, be reapplied to the front side, causing the bolt to actually slide back. And that's one complete cycle on your Lux marker. Basically what you have is you have your solenoid here, which actually controls the bolt moving back and forth. On our Lux, what we've done is we've given you the ability to control the back stroke of your bolt, so how fast the bolt actually returns, and also the front stroke, or how fast the bolt moves forward. What this front plug, the feather touch plug, is going to do is it's actually going to restrict the air that is going to be venting from the solenoid and it's going to slow your front stroke down. So it's going to slow down how fast the bolt actually comes forward. What this is going to do is it's going to help reduce the recoil of the gun, it's going to make the gun quieter, and it's going to make it softer on paint, which is going to make you be able to shoot the most brittle paint available. Now, keep in mind by having this plug in, you are restricting your rate of fire to approximately 15 balls a second. If you want to get the maximum rate of fire out of the gun, Move that plug, and we actually have a spot here on the grip that you can actually uh, put that into to store it. Now the other thing you can do with your manifold is we give you the ability to actually adjust the back stroke of the bolt um, through this bottom plug here. Screwing it in will give the gun less kick. Um, it will also reduce the maximum rate of fire. So if you are ever experiencing any drop off, it can be because this plug is screwed in too far. We do not recommend removing that plug. Um, the gun will cycle just fine with the plug in, but if you are ex still experiencing problems, we recommend you back it out to flush and uh, slowly screw it in from there. One thing I do to set my feather touch uh, manifold on my marker is I'll actually put my gun into PSP mode. I'll set it to a cap of 15 balls a second, and I'll start firing the marker while I slowly screw that plug in until I can start to hear that the gun can't keep up with that rate of fire. Then what I'll do is I'll back it out about half a turn and then go fire the marker with paint to make sure that it's shooting properly.